Hey guys, to everyone that's got a Honda snowblower with a joystick control, uh, this part number here, this is what this is the new replacement. However, this should help out a lot of people, if not most. Uh, so this is what the joystick basically looks like. This is a brand new one. Uh, I was not gonna put this one in. So basically the failures that I've had is either failure to move left to right or slow moving one direction and then fast the other. And eventually it just fails to move in that other direction. So I kind of figured that something was happening. Uh, it was definitely the joystick because I remember that one time, my first failure, I kept moving it back and forth and I kept cycling it and then it, it started working again. Uh, it was just one of those things. I was in the middle of a snowstorm and I got really frustrated. So, uh, so these switches or this whole switch assembly is fairly easy to open up. So and I'll go over this really quick. Uh, so the light that you're shining or seeing is just my, my headlamp. Uh, I don't have adequate lighting. This is the first time I'm doing it with a cell phone. So hopefully this works and it'll get people out of a quick bind, especially for people with basic uh, mechanical skills. So anyway, so th this pops off fairly easy. So if you can see how the clips, uh, I use a couple of small screwdrivers, pop one at a time, uh, and I was able to unseat it and pop this cover off. Take the tie wrap off. Underneath this, holding this platter on here, you'll have two Phillips screws, uh, both here and here. Then this whole piece just comes right out. Set the other piece aside. So, and this is basically the uh, the switch line up, uh, is what you're seeing. So when the switch operates, uh, so there's two ways, there's three contacts on the switch, uh, illustrated by the bottom. You gotta normally close and normally open. Uh, and I had one switch that was intermittent. Like it, it, I start to push, I would lose, it would go to a short and then I'd see resistance and I go to a full short again. So, so there's something, happening within that switch. So that's when I decided to take it apart. Uh, so we're gonna take part number sw switch number four. Uh, fairly easy, so if you see, let me zoom in here. Uh, all right, so what I'll do is I'll pop off one side here. So, and these are keyed by the way, just to let you know, this key, uh, the shorter depth to the front. Let's see. Keep your finger over it. Um, all right. So we'll pop that off, and there's one spring that went flying already. So this spring goes to the back, like so. So I'll show you when I put it back together again. Inside here, you'll see this piece. Uh, there's a bigger, the bigger tab goes to the left, goes to the inboard side. So let's pop that off. So, so let's take a look. So here, if you look at the contact, you actually like see the, the left side is somewhat clean. You can see a little bit of black. Then the right side is toast. And that is one of my problems. So that contact is dirty, uh, thereby not allowing proper contact. Uh, let's see where this camera is. So that's what the pad looks like. So that's the other side. So in the center part right here, the center bridge is the ground or the center contact. That's your center conductor. Because you can see, as illustrated by this, by this rib, by this rib right here. And that's your contact right here. And your two outer ones are here. So for the most part, I mean, uh, so cleaning it, uh, I would recommend buffing it, because uh, it definitely, judging by the color, it's silver. Th these are silver plated. So if anything, maybe alcohol, try and polishing it. Uh, I did scratch the other one. Uh, I use actually the, the, the screwdriver tip because I wanted to proof it out. And I just lightly scratched it and it came clean. The carbon came off it and it worked. So for me, that was a 100% solution. Don't know how long it's gonna get me, but Honda's really gotta figure out a solution because these joysticks, if I go through one a year, I don't know, I, I've always liked Honda's, good stuff, but you know, technology sometimes ha has its pluses and has its downs. Uh, when it comes to something like this, having like a manual auger shoot, you know what, uh, it, you're, you're kind of SOL if you can't maneuver that thing, you know, so. Uh, there's nothing like have, having a manual. Yes, it's a little more work, call it exercise, but at the same time, uh, when this fails and you're in the middle of your driveway or just about to and your chute doesn't work, uh, I don't know about you guys, but man, for me, that just really burns me up. <laughs> so uh, we have a snowstorm coming this evening. Uh, it's Saturday night, so we're getting about six inches here, about a foot in mass. Uh, so this joystick will be going up to mass. Uh, definitely will solve my situation. Uh, and hopefully it solves all you guys. Uh, so for everyone, you know, if you need a spare joystick, buy one. But for the most part, I do feel that your average person can easily take this apart and put it back together. So here we'll, we'll put, we'll try and put it back together uh, on camera here. 
So I'll put this pad in just like this with the large, large tapered side in. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. I dropped it right in. So that's what it looks like. This piece goes like so. And there's a spring that wants to push it outward. On this other side here, there's actually... Uh-oh. There it is. So this other side here... Uh, inside here, you can see there's like, there's there's a pocket, so you can see right where that spring's gonna go. Uh, you can see the uh, the mating nest there, or the uh, standoff. So I'll line that up, push it in, and there we go. So it's in. Now what I'm gonna do? Yeah, let's see if I can do this. Uh, we're all losing this here. It's keyed. We'll do the key to the front. I'll put it over. Line up my 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 latches. Push down, boom. That's it. So in my case, I'm pretty pretty confident, like 99% certain uh, based on the one I did before, which was switch number three, which is my, I believe that was down. Uh, this will solve your issues. Then put it back together. You're you just slide it back together. It's fa fairly easy. Uh, and to get this off, I believe this was eight millimeter that holds it underneath the uh, where the key fob is. That's it. Hope that helps, guys. Thanks for watching.